students how are you all i hope all of you are fine and well in your home and welcome back to your next english class and this is your nupur ma'am and <clears throat> uh, i just recall your last chapters what uh, i have taught like uh, this the dr gore and the giggling host and uh, the experienced uh, inexperienced host right so this was section 2 okay this was section 2 so there is one another section that is section 3 you can see antigonus okay so <clears throat> uh you think ma'am is not giving us uh, ma'am is not discussing the question answer with us whatever i told you that you have to write down by your own self and then definitely i will check it down right so <clears throat> try to write and uh, try try to solve the those questions and definitely i will give you the feedback right before that uh, <clears throat> this is you can see section 3 so this is one poem antigonus and <clears throat> before starting i just want to say that antigonus is a place okay is a house um sorry is a place in canada <clears throat> okay there is also a poem like uh, <clears throat> like uh, there you can see the ghost appearance and all okay so <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> see inspired by reports of a ghost roaming the stairs of a haunted house in antigonus canada antigonus is a place in canada and uh, inspired the writer william hugs means okay this writer in- was inspired by one report of a ghost roaming the stairs stairs means shiri i think you like you, you know right so the poet was inspired by a ghost which ghost was roaming okay <clears throat> moving here and there roaming the stairs of a haunted house okay there was a haunted house in antigonus canada so <clears throat> poet uh, got all the information all the reports about this ghost so after that he wrote this poem and <clears throat> W H means William Hugs Mons uh, wrote this poem in 1899 okay you can understand you can see the uh, pictures are there so you can understand that before starting the poem uh, this uh, new poem uh, i just means uh, i am talking about the new poem right what i am uh, saying to start with this right and dionish before starting this poem i just uh, want to discuss this questions i have given this i have given i have told you to do it by yourself and then i told you to do the question answer i just discuss the question answer see all afternoon he tried pulling the door open i think you got the line in this all afternoon he tried pulling the door open so what is the question what happened right before this so whenever he tried to pull the open uh, the door open what happened before it yeah it hadn't been open for years after gore became more and more flustered so there is some more description okay here from here you can say you can see okay so what happened before it it aage ki hote se right next why did he want to open the door why did he want to open the door because he he uh, got some sound from inside the from the uh, another side of the door right and he uh, he just gave that giggling sound uh, came from their place i think this should be the answer okay now it is uh, your own answer it is uh, your own opinion you guess by yourself and you can give okay try to write i have seen you the line i have discussed uh, answer slip next the hospital was buzzing where right? this line this line is here the hospital was buzzing what is what is the meaning of buzzing i hope you know the meaning of buzzing i guess you know the meaning of buzzing and whenever i discuss the video sorry the chapter on that video i have told you the meaning what does the buzzing refer to what does the buzzing refer to meaning what is buzzing here okay i hope uh, you can understand it should be a buzzing means 
I hope you remember. Okay, I don't say the meaning right now. You have to remember it. And uh, what does uh, buzzing refer to? And what set of the buzzing? Set of means close. By what the buzzing was close means how much they were pleasant and the hospital, whole of the hospital members were puzzled. Okay, so how it was closed? Next, he was speechless of what he saw. Uh, I hope this line is um, uh, just because here, uh, which uh, I have uh, underlined that line also. Um, this should be here or this should be in this page also which no uh, in this page not uh, this uh, this should be in this page I hope uh, yeah this is he was speechless at what he saw what he saw whenever he opened the door what he saw this in this paragraph there is an answer you have to find out okay and uh, he saw the giggling ghost of course see it wasn't a humanoid balloon and uh, it wasn't a grinning raksasa it wasn't even an extra uh, terrestrial it was an old thing with ants and plumbing and an old tap that had run dry for years and never been closed properly right okay and what did he not care sorry what does speechless mean here? And um, what did Dr. Gore see? And uh, what does speechless mean here? Means just uh, uh, he was not able to talk anything. He just astonished to see that, right? Okay, but he was too relieved to care. This last line. See. Why was Dr. Gore relieved? In this, uh, before this lines, he will get the answer. Why? What did he not care about? He was too relieved to care. Means, he was not getting that kind of relief that he can, that he, uh, he was not, he was getting that kind of relief that he cannot be, uh, cared about just like that. You can understand T double two means there should be uh, the negative meaning, right? So please do these four questions and answer, okay, by yourself. And uh, there are also some questions. Do you think stream was actually coming out of ears? You can do it also, okay. And there are some more questions. How was Dr. Gore affected when he could not identify the source of giggling? How was Dr. Gore affected? He was making, he was just puzzled and he was all the time tense, right? You will get inside the chapter this answer. How did Dr. Gore finally manage to open the door? Okay, so this answer already I have discussed, right? Today in the before question. Who or what was Dr. Gore's poultry beast? So this answer you will get here, right? So try to write these answers by your own and uh, definitely uh, and there are some more questions with uh, this modern device I shall devastate this little devil. There are some uh, uh, lines and from the lines there are some questions. Try to write these answers also and you can send me. Okay. Devastate can mean overcome, destroy or shock, right? Which of these words would you choose to replace devastate with why? Okay. which of the words do you want to give and why and this is the next line and next question it's the next line and next question so try to write this uh, question and answer and try to send me okay so without delaying time I will moving to the uh, poem of uh, today's uh, okay, new poem whatever I was telling you that uh, I will start today this Antigonus, okay okay so <clears throat> uh, I think you uh, guess what should be there maybe definitely there should be an uh, <clears throat> good experience about a ghost which he, that ghost was doing and all like so without delaying our time I will start our poem today if you have any problem to understand anywhere you can ask me 
okay you can ask me in comment box definitely i will give you feedback see yesterday upon the stair i met a man who wasn't there i mean the poet itself he is telling the poet itself is telling yesterday means the day before today upon the stair <clears throat> okay i met a man who wasn't there there in the stair i met a person but he was not there means his uh, body appearances was was not there but his uh, appearance means his uh, he the poet failed one person was there the absence the presence of a person a presence of a person he failed but she couldn't see any person there okay but he could he could understand he could realize a presence but there was no person in the appearance okay he wasn't there again today he wasn't there also not today yesterday it was he was uh, th that uh, person was not there that man was not there today was is also that man is not there i wish i wish he had to go away i wish a poet wish that maybe that man had <clears throat> and gone away he would go away okay when i came home the last night at 3 when i came back when the poet came back to his home whenever it was a uh, time 3 the man was waiting there for me on that moment the man was waiting there for him on that moment he saw that man was standing there he is uh, he was waiting but when i looked around the hall but whenever he looked around the hall i couldn't see him there at all but whenever he just look around the hall he couldn't see any man there okay <clears throat> but when he came home last night at the 3 at the 3 when it was time 3 at the clock in the clock on that moment he could realize that the man was waiting there for him okay but when he just entered the hall when just he just looked around the hall he couldn't see anyone he couldn't see them him there at all go away go away don't you come back anymore go away go away and please don't slam the door he is telling go away go away please don't come again anymore and please don't slam the door slam means uh, push the door uh, heavily khub jore darja dhakka mara okay that is a meaning slam okay so <clears throat> go away go away don't you come back any more go away and please don't slam the door okay last night i saw upon the stair and last night when he saw upon the stair jokhon shirid dikhe she dekhchilo a little man who wasn't there he wasn't there again today oh how i wish he would go away so the poet is telling the when last night i saw uh, there was no one okay a little man who wasn't there he wasn't there again today also so why i wish what i wish how i wish he would go away okay so <clears throat> i hope you realize the poem that he could realize the presence of a man but actually the man was not there but his presence was there means he could understand that uh, anybody's presence is there okay but nobody is here okay no uh, no human body is not there and let's just like this so he was just realizing one presence of any person okay <clears throat> so this is a very short poem okay i hope you have understood if you have any problem you can ask me and see right now go to the question and answer read these lines from the poem discuss your answers in class when i came home last night at 3 the man was waiting there for me who was a man about the answer about the poem now you guess who was a man definitely that was a ghost right whose presence were not there right so who was a man you will give answer you will give me answer okay you will write the answers who was a man what happened right after this and after this what happened after this when he looked around the hall he couldn't see there anyone right this answer okay okay next what did the poet want the man to do he wants 
the actually sorry the question is in past tense what did the poet means the poet wanted that that man would go away from there and he uh, would not come back again and uh, he was requesting that ghost that man that uh, to not to slam the door right yeah so take the options that you <clears throat> think are true the poem is about a ghost that haunts the poet on the stairs or a man who the poet imagines is there a man who keeps coming and going a man who is there and not there someone who walks up and down when the poet comes home late you have to decide which one is a perfect one okay this for this for doing this this portion will help you of course all the poem but this portion will help you for this which one is true <clears throat> pick the options that you think are true which options uh, which option is true okay according to which option should be true okay so and uh, rhyme and rhythm working partner write the last word and of uh, each again so the line as see uh, there is some written paradox where this paradox paradox is a statement that appears to be illogical or silly but which may include or underline truth a paradox helps make a reader think about an idea in a different way less is more right so uh so this uh, exercise is for you you have to do it by yourself and uh, read the poem and uh, read the all uh, spellings and meanings right and uh, do these answers and please send me in the comment box these are very short answers and these are very short poems also right so from this poem you have to manage meaning uh, okay and um, sentence making will make sentence opposite meaning okay try to do it and <clears throat> like opposite some suppose i am telling come what should be the opposite of come next suppose i am telling um uh today what should be the opposite of today okay so <clears throat> this kind of thing okay so please do it and send me in comment box and practice this poem and read this poem if you have any problem you can ask me okay so thank you so much and have a nice day and wait for the next video till then keep watching my video and have a nice day again thank you so much bye bye